Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we'll be doing something a little different, and we're going to be building another rocket here, and we're going to be building this Soyuz rocket in flight here. And it's pretty big here, so it's hard to get the whole thing in the shot at once, but this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build here. So as you can see here, we actually have done a Soyuz rocket before, but the last one was laying down horizontally on this transporter train, and it turned out pretty good, so I wanted to do it in flight. And making it vertical in flight was much of a challenge. I had to change the entire design as I couldn't utilize stairs the way we did on the horizontal one. So I'm going to build mine in flight here, so I already have a block up in the sky. You can make this as high as you want, or just have it on the ground. So, we're going to make a 2x2 two two of stone brick blocks, and then we're going to put two on all four sides of it, like this here. Then we're going to put stone brick walls in all four of the corners. Just like that. Then coming kitty corner off this wall, we're going to make that same shape of stone brick blocks like this. And then another one in this corner here. And another one on this corner. And one more on this corner. So from the top, it should look like this here. Now we're going to come underneath it and do the engine. Come down here with polished deep slate wall and put a pattern of walls like that. And we're going to do this on all five of these rings here. Just like that. Same thing over here. And on this one. Then we'll come back through and on the bottom of each wall put a polished deep slate block on all of the walls here. Then take a hopper and put one hopper next to each of the polished deep slate walls on all five of the rings. Just like that. And now the bottom's done and we'll come up above this here. We're going to take out smooth red sandstone and make a 2x2 two two on the center of all five of these rings. Then we're going to take smooth red sandstone wall and put two walls on all four sides of each one here. And just keep it coming here around all of these with two walls on each side of all of them. Then take stone brick wall and put one in each of these two corners and one in each of these two corners. Now go back to smooth red sandstone and make a two by three on all four sides above the walls. And then we're gonna do that on all five of them. So we'll just raise them all up to that same height. And keep it coming for all these side boosters. One more corner to go here. Just like that. Now take out some item frames here. And we're going to put two on the top here. 
come around, two here, two in this middle, two here, and come all around all four sides doing that. Then once all the item frames are on, come back through and put a stone brick block on each item frame. And come all the way around it and do that on all four sides. Just like that. Then we're going to take out polished deep slate block on the center one only. And we're going to make a two by six coming up right here. And we're going to raise all four sides of the center up by six blocks. Just like that. Now take smooth red sandstone again and fill in all these holes on the tops of all four of these. Then we're going to take polished deep slate wall in this corner right here and raise a whole column of walls to the top. And we're going to do that on all four of these corners. Then we'll go back to polished deep slate block and right here we're going to make a plus shape and we're gonna raise that plus shape all the way up to the top. And we have to do that on all four sides. So right here, do a plus shape of polished deep slate, and we'll raise that all the way up to the top. And then same thing, a plus shape right here. Raise it up to the top. thing a plus shape right here and raise that all the way up to the top because all four of these side boosters kind of taper in next we're going to round these side boosters off a bit so take polished deep slate wall in this corner raise a column to the top then here and then here and we'll just go around and do that so right here right here Then here, here, then here, then here, and then here, and here, and then right here. And now they're rounded off a bit more. Then we'll come on this top middle one and do a two by six coming up of polished deep slate right here. And then right here on this side, this side, and this side. Then these side boosters taper in again. So down here in the corner, we'll make a two by two of polished deep slate right here. And we'll raise that up five blocks tall. Same thing here, do a two by two right here. Raise it up by block stall. Then a two by two right here. Raise that up by block stall. And one more corner to go. A two by two right here and raise that by block stall. Now come up top, still with polished deep slate. And we're gonna raise all four sides of this center one up another three blocks above this. Then we'll finish the tops of all four of these boosters. And we're gonna use polished deep slate block, three of them in the corner here, and then two walls here, two here. And do that on all four. So three blocks, two walls here, two here. Three blocks in the corner, two walls here, two here. Then three blocks in the corner again, two walls here and two here. Then on these top corners, we're going to put two polished deep slate walls in each of the four corners here. And then go around in the 
gaps with polished deep slate block, so it looks like that. Then on the top middle here, we'll do a 2x5 of polished deep slate coming up and raise all four sides up five blocks above this. Then on each top corner, we'll put two polished deep slate walls in the corner. Two here, two here, if I can get the other side, and over here. Then up here, fill this hole on the center in, and we'll put a two by two of polished deep slate slabs on this top middle here. Then do a two by two of dark oak fences, right here. Then two, two by two here, a two by two here, and we won't finish this other side yet. Take smooth red sandstone, and we're gonna put two on top of all three sets of the fences here. So two here, two here, two here. Before we finish this other side, we're gonna come in and grab polished deep slate stairs, and we're gonna put upside down stairs in this gap, two facing this way, two facing the other way. Then we'll do a two smooth red sandstone here and a two by two of fences below it. Then we're gonna come on top of this and we'll raise the sides up another two blocks on all four sides of smooth red sandstone. Then we'll put three orange stained glass panes in the corner here, three in this corner, and do that on all four corners. Then, above this, we're gonna go to smooth quartz, and we'll raise it three blocks tall on all four sides. And then, go through all four of these corners and put three white stained glass panes in all the corners here. Above this, we're gonna go back to polished deep slate block, and we're gonna raise up all four sides, six blocks tall above the smooth quartz. Just come all the way around with it here. And then in these corners, we'll do a full column of six gray stained glass panes in each of the four corners. Just like that. Above this, we'll go back to smooth quartz and raise each side up three blocks tall above here. And then three white stained glass panes in all four of the corners. Above that, we're gonna do a single layer of red concrete, two blocks wide on all four sides. And we're gonna put white stained glass panes in the corners of this. Then above this, we go back to smooth quartz blocks and we'll raise it up four blocks tall on all four sides. And then go ahead and fill in all the corners with white stained glass panes on all four corners. Then we're gonna come on the center of this smooth quartz space and we're gonna make a two by two of both trap doors closed on it. And we're gonna do that on all four sides for the grid pins. Just like that. Then above this, we're gonna go around all four sides with a single layer of red concrete. Then above that, a layer of blue concrete. And above that, two layers of smooth quartz and we're gonna fill in the top here then in the corners we'll fill in all the rest of these corners with white stained glass panes on all four sides right up to the top here then on the top middle a two by two of smooth quartz then we're gonna put two smooth quartz stairs facing outward on all four sides and another two by two of smooth quartz on the top middle then above that, we'll put a two by two of 
diorite walls on top. Now we'll come underneath and do the fire coming out, and I'm going to use shroom lights for this. And basically everywhere there's a polished deep slate block under here where the engines are, we're going to make a column of shroom lights coming down. And I want this to look organic and not blocky, so I'm just going to try to make all of these columns a slightly different length. And there's a lot of engines on this, so it's going to be kind of tedious. Like I said, no real rhyme or reason to it. I'm just making columns of shroom lights coming down and trying to do whatever looks good, making some different lengths here. And we have to do that on all five of these stages down here. And just keep that coming. And then when I'm done, this is what my fire looks like. You could even make it wider or smaller if you wanted. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. And now we need to come back up top and do the launch abort tower. So we're going to come out in the top here, and we're going to take out polished black stone wall and do a 2x2 two two right here. Then above it, we're going to go to diorite wall and a 2x2, two two, and we're going to raise that another four blocks tall. Then on each side of the top here, we're going to put two outward facing smooth quartz stairs on all four sides. Then go back to diorite wall in a 2x2, two two, and we're going to raise this up another six blocks past the stairs. Then we'll do the thrusters on the launch abort tower, so we're going to take out a hopper, come under these stairs, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our new Soyuz rocket in the vertical in-flight position here. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.